September 25, 2024. Wednesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Book of Proverbs. Every word of God proves true, he is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. Two things I ask of you, deny them not to me before I die, remove far from me falsehood and lying, give me neither poverty nor riches, feed me with the food that is needful for me, lest I be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord, or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Response, You word is lamp for my feet, Lord. Keep me from the way of falsehood. Grant me mercy by your law. You word is lamp for my feet, Lord. The law from your mouth means more to me than large quantities of silver and gold. You word is lamp for my feet, Lord. Forever is your word, O Lord. Standing firm in the heavens. You word is lamp for my feet, Lord. I keep my feet from every evil path, to obey your word. You word is lamp for my feet, Lord. I gain understanding from your precepts. And so I hate all false ways. You word is lamp for my feet, Lord. Falsehood I hate and detest, but I love your law. You word is lamp for my feet, Lord. Alleluia Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand, repent, and believe in the gospel. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases, and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. And he said to them, Take nothing for your journey, no staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics. And whatever house you enter, stay there, and from there depart. And wherever they do not receive you, when you leave that town shake off the dust from your feet as a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the villages, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Wednesday, 25th Week in Ordinary Time Whenever most of us set out on a journey, we plan ahead and make sure to bring what we think we are going to need. Many of us overpack and end up bringing stuff that we never use. However, we probably prefer to overpack than to leave ourselves short. It seems strange to our ears to hear Jesus say to the twelve as he sends them out to share in his mission of proclaiming the kingdom of God, take nothing for the journey. Why does Jesus send them out on such an important journey so vulnerable, with so little to fall back on? Perhaps it was his way of teaching them to rely more on God and less on themselves. He wanted them to trust that God would provide for them, especially in and through those households who would welcome them and extend hospitality to them. There are times on all of our life journeys when we sense our own vulnerability, for whatever reason. We may have lost a significant person in our lives. Our health may be failing us. Our financial situation may have deteriorated suddenly. As such moments, if we are people of faith, we find ourselves having to rely on God and on His Son, our Lord. It doesn't mean we do nothing in response to our situation. The disciples in today's Gospel reading had something to do, they had to proclaim the Gospel and exercise the power Jesus gave them to heal the broken. Yet, in moments of great vulnerability, everything we do needs to be contained within a great act of trust that the Lord will ultimately provide for us. We do not journey alone. The Lord journeys with us, as he journeyed with the two vulnerable disciples as they walked in sadness on the road to Emmaus. The Lord is always at work bringing new life out of our experiences of loss, including our final experience of loss at the end of our earthly lives.